Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your easy to understand guide on how to unlock the Bunker 11 Easter egg in Call of Duty Warzone. If you aren't familiar with what Bunker 11 is, it is a top secret bunker in the Warzone map with multiple steps required in order to unlock it, but inside contains a ton of rare loot, a secret weapon blueprint, and Warzone's deepest secrets. I'm going to break down every step to make it as simple as possible for you, so come along with me, let's jump in. So before we begin, yes, this can be done on normal Battle Royale and Plunder. Since Plunder has unlimited respawns, I wouldn't try it on the normal battle royale. So step one is we're going to be looking for a phone that's going to be ringing somewhere on the map. There are eight locations for a ringing telephone. So if in this video we're going through the locations and it's not in your game, just don't worry. Just go to the next location. The first location can be found here in the dam section of the map. You can see the phone. We hear it ringing. That's what you're going to be looking for. But if you didn't find it there, don't worry. Our next location on the map is going to be this school building here in Riverside. It's just northwest from TV station and you're going to find the phone on on the first floor behind this counter. Another location is going to be right near the edge of Boneyard right here. There's this cargo hold looking area where you've got parts of the plane dismantled. If you make your way past that, there's going to be a little two-story hut. Normally, there's a buy station outside of it, and it's going to be inside there. On the bottom floor, right next to the window, a phone can be there. The next location can be in this little hut just off the edge of train station, which also connects to Promenade West. If it's not there, then make your way over to Novi Grazna Hills. It's right near Promenade West as well, and it's this building here surrounding these other buildings. Just make your way and it's going to be tucked up here on this table. And in this clip, you can hear it ringing. So that's what you're going to be looking for. And you just want to interact when you do find it. We have two locations in downtown. The first being the tallest building in downtown. What you want to do is you want to land at the bottom of it. Take the grapple hook all the way up to the top. And as you get out, it's going to be one of the desks tucked away in the corner. And in this clip... It was actually ringing for me, so it was very easy to pick it out, but you just look for the prompt and there it is. The other downtown location is going to be in this art section, which is in this building right here on the map. This is on the first floor in this building, but you're going to have to search quite extensively towards the back of the rooms in order to find it. So you see that XI sign, just continue following it along and in here there's going to be like a meeting room and on the end you're going to have the phone active there. Or at least in this clip it was ringing for me. And finally, our last phone is going to be in port right in vacant. If you make your way through this iconic section of vacant and then through these doors, you're going to find the phone lying here on this desk. Once you've found your phone, the next step is to, of course, use your interact button to use the phone. When you do, you're going to hear this. <laughs> Once the angry Russians take a brief pause, this is a very important step. As when they speak again, they're going to mention three numbers in Russian. Now, I'm not fluent in Russian, and I'm sure you guys watching aren't either. So I've made this step a lot easier for you. On screen now, we have a translation table, which will translate the numbers into English, as well as the pronunciation, because that's how we're going to work out what numbers they're giving us. All three numbers are going to be between zero and nine. And to make your life easier, I'm going to now play every single file that correlates to each number that you'll hear from this telephone. So I'll play it a few times from 0 to 9 and you can link that up to the ones you get in your game. Now, the three numbers you get will randomize every single game, so bear that in mind. And if you didn't hear it properly the first time, you can always just use the phone again and listen as many times as you need to. But in this gameplay, my code was 734, which I'll play for you now, just so you can get a bit more familiar with hearing the numbers naturally in-game. So once you've managed to translate the three numbers, we can now move on to the next step. And around the map, there is going to be a telephone in a certain location that has a number attached to it, which links to the Russian numbers that were just given to us. Now you need to activate the phones that link to each of these numbers in the order that you heard them. So in my game, it was 734. So I need to go and activate the telephone that links to number seven first. Then I need to do the one that links to number three second and the one that links to number four last. To make this as clear as possible, I'm going to show you every Every location now and then afterwards I'm going to show you me completing the steps for my sequence 734 and show you what to do after. So let's jump into every single numbered telephone location starting with zero. Zero can be found here just below the military base. You want to run up these stairs and in this little hut here 
in the military base, you're going to see the telephone right there. That is zero. The location for number one is going to be in the bank in downtown. So as soon as you come through the entrance, take out anyone that's in your way, of course, then just simply take a right and you're going to see in this hut is going to be this telephone here by this computer server. Number two is going to be in this ammo box station, which is just behind these huge flats. And it's positioned between TV station and military base. If you make your way up the stairs and then go all the way to the back of the room, there's going to be a telephone here on this desk. That is number two. For number three, you want to make your way to Cast River Quarry. And it is this huge factory building right at the back of it. Be on the ground floor in this building and you want to go to the back. And there's going to be this door on the left. It's going to be a room here with this desk of phones and a computer screen and within that you're going to have an activated phone which is number three For number four it's a bit of the beating track in a section called block 18 which is between quarry and lumber and it's going to be in this police station on the second floor you can see it's just there on the end on a desk Number five is going to be inside of TV station, but in order to get it, you're going to want to make your way through the main room. Then you want to take a door to the far left and you're going to hop over this window into this like weird server computer room and you're going to find the fifth phone right there. Number six is the air traffic control tower in front of airport. You can't miss it. If you simply land here with a helicopter and go up to this phone, that's number six. Number seven is also in the airport and the best way to get around getting this is to dive in front of this plane here and go through this door right in front. Make your way up the stairs. It's just behind the baggage handling section. And on this desk, you're going to find the phone for number seven. Number eight is going to be in the hospital. And in order to find this, you simply want to enter through the main entrance doors. And as soon as you run through, it's right behind the desk in front of the entrance. So be very quick on this because in my game, it was a very hot drop. And nine is just north of Dam. It's very near to where the ringing phone was for the first step. This is actually going to be hidden away a little bit. So you want to come through here and it's going to be waiting for you just in this passageway right here. As you saw in the video, our code was 734. Going in order, our number seven started in the airport. So you went over and activated that one. And every time you activate one of these phones, if you've activated the correct one in the correct sequence, you're going to hear some Morse code beeps to signify you've got it right. If it's the wrong sequence, however, you're going to hear this sound instead. So we went to airport and got number seven and we went to Cast River Quarry and got our three. So our final one, number four, was going to be in block 18 in the police station. Once we activated it and you've got all three numbers right in the sequence, you're going to hear this noise. Once you hear that, you have completed the Easter egg. And now all you need to do is head over to Bunker 11, which is in the furthest north part of the map, in the snowy part. And all you want to do is go up to the keypad, hold your interrupt button to enter the number station code, and the doors should unlock for you where you can go inside and enjoy all of its delicious content. Now, when you are inside there, you're going to find multiple legendary crates, as well as tons of blue crates. In one of the rooms, you're going to find a computer room where you can reboot the computer by holding your interact button at the keyboard. And it's actually going to reboot and show on these two monitors that the system's actually rebooting, which is really, really weird. And if we continue on, we're going to find a room where we have a countdown sequence happening, which keeps cycling from 10 to two before it just repeats again and then right at the back we're going to find another room with a weapon locker where we can get a brand new weapon but if you go to this section you can actually prone and crawl to a back corridor where if we go all the way back there's a room full of mist and if we hold the press the shiny red button you're going to see that the mist is going to disappear from the room revealing a nuclear warhead how exactly we use this we don't know just yet, but we know that it's definitely going to be usable at some point and the door is currently blocked by a big metal bar so we can't access it. We're going back in the weapon locker room. If you pick up the MP7, that is a brand new blueprint weapon that you have unlocked to use in your games for absolutely free, which is the reward for completing this Easter egg, which is really, really awesome. And that, my friends, is a guide on how to unlock Bunker 11. I'd love to know down below in the comments if it helps you out. If it did, a like rating would be very much appreciated. If you need some 
some teammates to help you out with this easter egg then by all means use the comment section as a way to help you find some players on playstation xbox and pc and this definitely isn't the last we'll see of easter eggs like this in warzone so if you want to make sure you stay up to date with the latest and greatest then be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell you guys have been amazing thank you so much for joining me and hopefully i'll see you for another warzone easter egg in the very near future take care guys peace out